G'day AIMCA, uh, we're here with Bob Moore from Yahoo, uh, he's a senior research scientist uh, with them talking about um, using ethnic methodology and conversation analysis uh, in the real world. So Bob, tell, tell me about how you've uh, used research, uh, used ethnic methodology and conversation analysis um, with in, you know, uh, corporate research. Yeah, so pretty much the only places, m most places I've worked have been uh, corporate research labs, first at Xerox Park and now at Yahoo Labs. And um, I, was, I was quite pleased to find that there is a home for ethnomethodology out in industry. And uh, it, it, at least in the, in the area of um, technology studies, they've been very interested in ethnomethodology and CA, largely because Lucy Suchman introduced uh, computer scientists and uh, artificial intelligence uh, researchers, uh, when she was at Xerox Park in the 70s, she introduced them to ethnomethodology and CA. And since then, there's been a pretty strong presence. And um, I think the the reason is, in ethno and CA, we deal with very um, concrete, uh, practical problems that people have, you know, in any kind of practice or in in social interaction. And so, people who are building technologies, you know, they are really eager to, to find out um, how their users, you know, the, the kinds of issues their users have. Uh, in, in, uh, in, in using their technology and if there's a, especially if it's a social technology. And it's, it, you know, it goes beyond just usability studies. I mean, technology people always do usability studies, but Ethno CA can give you a, a much deeper understanding of the, uh, the, the, the action systems that a technology is involved in. And it, it just seems to resonate more so than I think some other types of sociology or, or social science, which, uh, w which will bring um, a lot of theory to the, uh, the, the technology developers, and they usually don't really have a use for just you know theoretical mm -hmm. findings on their own. But if you bring them a practical problem, you can show them on a videotape. Here's here are, here are three people trying to use your system, and they came up with and they came against this uh, situation that you obviously didn't foresee in in the design based on the real world circumstances they're trying to use it in, and then they can they can really uh, relate to that and find it valuable. So, what kind of um, examples of, of research? Have you and and there's there's actually there's two kinds of things. So there's there's both technology design, and then there's also um, workplace studies. Uh, and so some of the studies I've done haven't necessarily had a technology involved, but people, um, I guess, it's kind of organi organizational science. They want to know how um, social relations in their organization operate. Um, and so, in some cases, the uh, the thing being designed are work processes, not necessarily just technologies. And so I've done both kinds of studies. So, for example, um, when I was at uh, Xerox Park, uh, Xerox is interested in printing, and so they wanted us to do a study of uh, of print shops and mm -hmm. how you know the, the environments in which their products ultimately get used. And so we did a pretty broad. Um, it was an ethnographic study with ethno and CA as part of that, but it was a broader, um, a broader ethnographic mm -hmm. study of what um, you know of work. Uh, in, in, in print shops, and we, we, uh, we um, focused on the, the customer interface, so where you know, customers mm -hmm. are interacting with uh, employees about you know, the, trying to get their, uh, ordering print jobs, trying to get you know, their, their, their jobs done, and getting them back, and you know, correcting them, yeah, this isn't what I wanted. And I, I, I tend to focus on the communication between, uh, it's quite interesting, between the, the customer uh, to the front, uh, the front counter worker, who then would, would uh, communicate that back to the, the person who's actually going to run the job, and then it mm -hmm. would come back. So there's a, at least three people in the, involved in the loop, often more. And so that communication process was critical to their, um, their work, you know, their, to their business. And so in that case, we didn't, you know, Xerox was already de designing the technology. They didn't so much want us to do uh, technology design, but they did want us to help uh, their, their, their client uh, with their, their business more broadly. So, I mean, there's, you know, there's a tradition in ethno and CA workplace studies that looks at a variety of uh, well, workplace ecologies, mm. you know, more than just the use of a, a single technology, but what is it's often, uh, you know, what what is the larger ecology that that uh, technology lives in, and that gets into you know the work the work practices that in, that involve that technology, which may be very different from you know somebody else who uses that technology in a different uh, place, and then the relations between different workers and customers, and, and so you get a nice uh, into a nice ethnographic study within you know ethno and CA on various parts of, of interaction and practice within that. So how are you applying um, ethnomethodology or conversation analysis at, at the moment with Yahoo? At the moment. So um, currently I've been, um, try, I've been looking at uh, user uh, interaction with a GUI-based computer. And 
GUI, of course, is a, a graphical user interface. So, mm -hmm. the, the uh, you know any, any PC uh, or Windows-based uh, or uh, Mac kind of uh, computer, um, I, I've I've been uh, trying to adapt Ethno and CA to studying that kind of that. I mean, you can conceive of it as interaction between the user and the system, or just the user practice. You know, the user uh, encountering this this technology and trying to uh, make sense of it. And so. Um, you know, I've, so I've been adapting you know, at the methodological concerns with, with practice and um, you know, the, the endogenous organization of, of practices when you look at somebody actually using it in a, in a particular situation. And then I've been applying the, you know, the, the CA con, uh, concerns for recorded data and use of transcription and line-by-line -line analysis. I've been applying that. And um, then using a, a new te a technology that's new to, new to me, which is uh, eye tracking. Mm -hmm. So that the data I, I, I've been collecting are uh, screen uh, videos of, of you know the user interacting with the, the computer, and then superimposed superimposed on top of that is the, uh, the eye tracking data, which is basically a blue dot that jumps around very quickly and shows what the user looked at. So, I'm, you know, starting with that with that data, I thought you know what with what we know from ethno and CA, how could we uh, apply it to this? And so I've been trying to develop a new uh, approach and. I started with search engine interactions because, of course, Yahoo is interested in search, but really been trying to develop a general method that I'm calling computer interaction analysis that, that I'm hoping will be um, you know, useful for any kind of GUI-based uh, uh, user practice or interaction. Sounds really interesting. Thanks for your interview. Thank you.